Around 420 kilometers from the Thai metropolis of Bangkok in the far north of the Central Plains is the legendary city of Si Satchanalai. Today, only these sad ruins testify to the splendor of the former twin city and ancient capital of Sukhothai. However, after Si Satchanalai had lain in ruins for many centuries, some areas of the city were restored by teams of dedicated archaeologists. The city dates back to the 13th century. At that time, Si Satchanalai was the official residence of the Viceroy of Thailand's first important kingdom during what is known as the Sukhothai period. Prior to this, the northern region had for many years been in the hands of the Khmer until they were eventually defeated and banished by two Thai princes. Following this, King Si Indraticha declared himself to be king of Sukhothai, Si Satchanalai and the whole of northern Thailand. This marked the beginning of a new era. The Wat Changlom Temple is one of the most remarkable sanctuaries in the heart of the old city. The builder of this temple was one of the most famous rulers of Sukhothai, King Ram Kang Han. This monumental chedi made of laterite and stucco is the temple's main art historical treasure. And the city's elephants also attract the admiring glances of visitors. They highlight the exotic atmosphere of this precious temple. The 32 stupas that are positioned in seven rows under various styles and forms of the Wat Cheri Cheteo are a magnificent sight. The stupas of this temple also served as the final resting place for the ashes of numerous members of the vice royal family. Each building was given generous dimensions. The majority of the buildings date back to King Loe Tai, who reigned during the second half of the 14th century. On some of the Chedis, archaeologists discovered traces of artistic wall paintings, whereas the walls of some of the other structures still contain various beautiful elephant sculptures. Far less remains of the nearby Watsuan Ka Utayan Yai. Here the ravages of time are plain to see. The Sukhothai era and the city of Si Satchanalai were once of great significance to the country's cultural history. The Thai script that is in use today was developed at this time. Located to the south, the Wat Nang Paya, the Queen's Temple, and particularly its bell-shaped chedi, are still in relatively good condition. As has happened throughout history, 
The cultural flowering period of the city occurred at the same time as its financial prosperity. The Si Sachanalai region became famous for its Sa Wankalok ceramics. These ceramic products were not only an important export in the Sukhothai period, but also in the subsequent kingdom of Ayataya. Close to the riverbanks of the Minamyom is the great laterite prang that was originally built in early Khmer design and was later embellished with stucco work. This cult building is the most important attraction of the Wat Chal Chan. The present area of the Wat Chom Chuan is of particular interest to archaeologists. In the course of their excavations, they made several important discoveries. They discovered that Si Sach Analai dated back to the 3rd century AD. Almost two kilometers from the main ruins of the city are the tall and elegant buildings of the Wapra Siratana Mahatat. Archaeologists also discovered much evidence that indicated the first settlements here may have been far older than previously believed. Strictly speaking, this temple does not belong to Si Sachanalai, but to Chaliang, an old Khmer city that extends around a loop of the Minam Yom River. The excavations of recent times were not the first to take place on this site as an inscription that dates back to 1292 refers to previous work here. Indeed, King Ram Kamhang uncovered relics here from an ancient Khmer Prang. Later, he built a new cherry to house his discoveries in the center of Si Sachanadai. Even in times of war, Buddhism was the most commonly held religious belief for the people of this region. The end of the former magnificent kingdom of Sukhothai came in the 17th century when Si Sachanalai in the north of the country came under the growing authority of Ayodhya. Si Sachanalai not only lost its political influence, but also its name, as it was renamed by its new rulers. Shortly after this, the people began to vacate their city, leaving not only their fine statues, but also the place that they loved.